Hello everyone, Crash Bandispar12 here, and this is a tutorial of how to downgrade your um, Skype from Skype 5.5, the, the latest one, to uh, Skype 4.2. So basically, what you search is uh, Skype 4.2 download. And as you can see, there's like this 4.2.0.155. And one eight zero, why the one eight seven? The hell? Uh, so you click one of them. Doesn't matter. It's like a, you you can find it on old apps. You can see you can find all the old versions of Skype. You see, like from <laughs> Skype one to the latest versions. They would recommend to download the four point two because it's like the best so what you do wait I'm gonna get back see right here you need to scroll down a bit right here you need to click on this and then it will start your um, thing automatically I'm just gonna save it right here alright because uh, basically a lot of people has been complaining to me about like how the new Skype is lagging their computer and stuff so I've decided to make a uh, tutorial for these people so um, they will basically d downgrade d their Skype to 4.2 because like it doesn't take a lot of RAM um, less laggy a lot better than the newest ones not saying that the, the new Skype is like terrible, but it is kind of in a way like really horrible and not useful at all. <coughs> and um, yeah, I'm basically gonna put a, a link to this website so you'll be able to choose which one from uh, the list people want. Um, you know which you, which like version do you want to download? And I really wouldn't uh, wouldn't uh, recommend to download the newest versions or upgrade. And also talking about upgrading, I'm gonna tell you people how to um, <coughs> uh, how to not upgrade your Skype like stop it from happening because there is some uh, something in the options on Skype itself that tells you uh, to do this crap to upgrade it anyways while it's downloading um, as you can see my Skype is open but uh, my see, see this is the like the old Skype but Anyways, I'm gonna. Uh, you can't uh, uh, downgrade your Skype while your Skype is open. Basically, um, I mean, you can downgrade it while, uh, while it's like on your computer, while it, it's installed. So what you do is basically you're going here. You find your version of Skype. Uh, uh, you find Skype here on Control Panel. There we go, I'll go again. Control panel. Programs and features. And then you'll find in this in this list um Skype 4.2. <laughs> We're going to uninstall. Yep. And that's what I've told to many people first of all, when you're doing this you need to uninstall your Skype. <coughs> All right. Kind of, kind of hate um, Windows 7 because it's like it takes ages to freaking downgrade and stuff. Windows 7 is kind of crappy. So yeah, you basically wait a little while till this thing is fuck off is down, like deleted from your computer uninstalled so once you got it right you click right click on this run as administrator all right
it's no I don't want it in Hebrew I want it in English <laughs> okay so first basically I agree install and it's pretty much installing and then you will have oh I don't give a shit about Skype toolbars doesn't matter okay finish as you can see it's the old Skype yep so once you're done you're going to tools options advanced and you see in your uh, one once you're like installing Skype it will uh, basically have this thing ticked so untick this thing so that's saying notify me untick that and it won't ask you to upgrade your Skype so it's not that much a big of a deal like how people think it's very easy and very quick so anyways I hope that I helped to the people who had troubles with Skype and um, yep yeah, that's pretty much like the old Skype the, really easy to install and really easy to use and it uh, doesn't take a lot of RAM from uh, your computer because like um, the new Skype takes a lot of RAM for some reason and it's like very laggy and such so anyways I hope that they helped to the people who had problems with Skype and yep thanks for watching everyone and I hope I helped you goodbye